What's going on guys, JP back at you once again, bringing you guys day number 8 in my ninth annual 31 Days of Horror. This is a series in which we watch and review 31 horror films all during the month of October, leading right up to the wonderful day that is Halloween. So for today's review, I decided to go with something classic, something that is a personal favorite of mine. I'm talking about 1989's Pet Cemetery. Of course, uh, based on the book by Stephen King of the same title. I have it here in a 4K release, and this is personally one of my favorite 4Ks in my collection. It has an amazing slipcover. I just love this slipcover. I love the shine to it and just the design, the artwork. It's amazing. But also, besides the slipcover, I think it's one of my favorite transfers that I have on 4K. I went from standard definition to 4K with Pet Cemetery. I never bought a Blu-ray. I went straight from DVD to 4K. So to me, it's drastically different. It, this film pops. Uh, so, Pet Cemetery, Interesting film, always been a favorite of mine. I have a different perspective watching it this time than I had any other time because I actually read the novel in the past year. And before, I had never read the novel, so it kind of was a different experience this time, somewhat. So, Pet Cemetery follows a family of four, a husband, a wife, their two children, one boy uh, who's younger and the girl who's a little bit older, um, maybe like nine or something uh, so this family moves to this new house in Maine um, the father Lewis is going to be a doctor at a college uh, and this the house they move into has a highway next to it where the trucks fly down the road it reminded me of a road where I grew up where there was a prison uh, a few miles away and the prison guards at certain times a day would fly up and down the road when they got on or off work. It, it always made me think like, damn, I should never be a prison guard because these guys hate their job because they're flying away from it every day. Uh, but they move next door to this guy named Judd and Judd is sort of a guy who knows a lot of history about the town, an older gentleman, um, really uh, a um, really likable character. Uh, they also find out that in the corner of their property, down a path, is a pet cemetery. And it has a massive graveyard of pets that were killed over the years or died. Most of which have been taken by the road, because the road tends to kill a lot of animals, uh, with the trucks flying up and down. Uh, everything is going well. Uh, they have a cat named Church. Um, Church gets ran over in the road. Uh, the daughter... The neighbor doesn't feel like the daughter can deal with the death of the cat quite yet, so he knows about the pet cemetery. He knows about the place beyond the pet cemetery uh, that the ancient Indians used to use, and they buried things there, but they stopped using it because the ground turned sour. Basically, whatever they bury there comes back to life. So they bury the cat up there, kind of leave the plot off there. There's also an incident. Uh, with a person um, who was killed at the college on the first day of Lewis's job and he's kind of seeing haunting visions about him warning him about the pet cemetery and stuff like that. Pet Cemetery to me is such a good movie. Um, it deals with death in a lot of ways. It, ha it features a lot of people and how they interpret and take death when it happens to someone they love or something they love. And I love that about it. Uh, I remember watching it very, very young. And even at that age, kind of grasping certain things about death in this movie. Uh, I think that it's scary. Um, there is a, you know, very scary atmosphere with the pet cemetery and the whole mythology behind it. Uh, it's a very tragic movie, uh, one of the saddest um, moments in a horror movie for me. Some people like to make fun of it a little bit and say that um, the lead actor sort of overacted in it, but I've seen a few people react to death um, in my life, and I, I mean, it's, it can be different for everybody, but I've seen a lot of very hysterical 
gut-wrenching reactions and it always kind of reminded me of that and it was it's it's almost it almost reminds me of too realistic to where it, it's not a movie moment and I think people kind of perceive it as cheesy um, I don't never have uh, kind of bugs me that people feel that way but I get I get why I, I can see where they're coming from a little bit I love the characters in this film Judd Crandall is awesome uh he was um the actor who played uh herman munster which i don't remember his name off the top of my head i i know it but i forgot it and <laughs> as soon as this video is over i'll probably remember it um but i think that there's so many different moments in this film that involve death um, there's a backstory with the character Rachel and her sister who had um, like meningitis or something and she was dying um, spinal meningitis and how she interpreted that death is very different from how other characters interpret other deaths uh, some characters get angry some characters get lost uh, some characters question where they go and why they go um, it's and you know it's very heavy it's a heavy movie uh, on the surface it's just a horror movie but I think it's pretty deep with um, its comments on death I mean all horror films deal with death but this one hits a little bit different for me so I think that it's a great film I always have I uh, absolutely love it it uh it has some great moments in it there's some things some issues that don't make the most sense like the fact that you know trucks fly down this road and and hit things and they're not obliterated is kind of a little iffy i guess um but overall pretty mean-spirited movie in the end you know really leaves you kind of feeling bad for everybody involved uh not a happy ending at all but yeah that is pet cemetery um 1989 i give it a 9 out of 10 it's one of my favorites uh, I could go on and talk it more in depth about it. There's se specific scenes that I absolutely love for diff for for many reasons, uh, but that's not the time or place for this. We've talked about it on the podcast before at long form, uh, so if you're curious about my further thoughts on it, check that out. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time with another day. I believe day nine tomorrow. Peace out.